I wanted to talk about the current state of New World in late 2022, coming up 2023. Currently, as I'm filming this, it is a Friday night. That means everyone's off work, everyone's out of school, it's Friday night, it's time to game. Everyone is on, it's prime time. There are more people on now, at least at my part of the world, than there are basically everywhere else. It is also... A New World free week, so there are tons of players that are able to download this game for free and play it right now, completely free for the next three days, and it's not looking so good. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, uh, that is the wrong thing on the screen. Let me try something else. Okay, so let's look at the current player populations. I know, I know. And uh, here we go. So currently 38,051 in all worlds. This is down from 100,000 a month ago. This is down from 50,000 two months ago. It's just, it just keeps going down, man. There's only 17,000 people on US East, 5,000 on West, and well, these are off hours for Europe and South, e South Asia, and whatever AP stands for. I don't know what AP guy means. I don't know. Asian Pacific, per perhaps? I'm not really sure. Maybe SA is South America. I, 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 again, I don't know what these abbreviations mean. I'm not a smart person. Anyway, I'm not trying to dog on the game. I'm not trying to make the game, you know, I'm not trying to paint it in a bad light because, you know, if the game succeeds, my YouTube channel succeeds, clearly. And, and I do like New World. I, I do want it to succeed. So, here's the thing. I've been playing on several different servers as a free-to-play player uh, that, that lets me play on it. So, I've played on Valhalla. I'm currently on Orofina. That's where my main character is also, my level 60 that I've been playing since launch. Uh, and then I also made a character on El Dorado. These are all US servers, all pushing 1,500 plus players right now. Again, this is prime time. Uh, I played yesterday, which was the start of the free week, and uh, the player counts were maybe 700. So they're, they're definitely as high as they're going to get. Uh, maybe Saturday you might see more players. I'm not really entirely sure, but I just want to talk about all the things that I've seen, all the things that are going on, my thoughts on the new player character experience so we're, we're gonna just talk about new world for a little bit and see what's going on okay so first off one of the first things i did was i'm this, i'm on a free to play account because i want to see the free to play experience so if i try to type right now uh it won't let me because my my account is not 72 hours old and three hours of gameplay time right uh but i just wanted to test glitches exploits all that kind of fun stuff all right, so I'm not really in the know, and I'm not in the cool kids club for the dupes. Not anymore. I, I left those Discord servers long ago. I, I don't participate in them anymore. I don't keep contact with the people that still know and dupe and exploit the game in that regard. However, I do know several speed glitches, speed exploits, and a few other, like, consumable dupes. And I am actually happy to report right now that... The solo speed exploits are semi-fixed, and let me explain what that means, okay? So, there are speed exploits that you can do by yourself without the need of other players, and they will allow you to move super fast. Now, what I've done on this character is I've been able to achieve a few of them, however, there's some sort of check and balance in the game now that resets your base speed after about 30 seconds. So used to, you would just be permed with the speed glitch and you could run all over the world as long as you didn't log out for more than two minutes, you could keep the speed glitch going. But now, there's no real way to perm it, there's no way to toggle it on and off. I can get it for about 30 seconds and then there's a, there's a switch that flips somewhere in the servers that turns it off and I can no longer speed glitch around. So, I am happy to report that solo speed glitches are fixed, however, uh... There is still a duo and a trio speed glitch, which doesn't seem to switch off. You do need multiple people, and, and so it's really hard to pull off. It took me about 15 minutes to do one, the duo one. It took me about 20 minutes to do the other one, and 45 minutes to do the other one. And we, we were just trying, like, new ways to activate the glitch, too. And we decided, hey, let's just give this one more shot. And 45 minutes in, I we were able to basically perform it. And it was able to stick, so we were able to zoom all over the world. And, uh, like, you can see here, I'm on a level 20 character, and I'm all the way at the top of the world here. Um, normally, if you try to run through Eden Grove, you will get shot by archers left and right. You'll get one-shotted by archers at my level. I'm able to just speed up here, and, uh, you know, I wasn't escorted. I'm not... I, di I didn't run all the way to the top of the map manually, uh, just to try to make a silly video. I'm, I'm telling the truth. I, I literally just speed glitched up here, because I wanted to see if I just run around and explore the world, if they change the experience gain and stuff like that. 
just, you know, thinking of new ways to, like, speed level characters. And, you know, one tactic is you run all over the world and get all the fast travel points. Uh, you get all the, you know, uh, what is this, the the out outlooks, what outposts unlocked. And as you do that, you gain experience. So I was just testing a few things because if I ever want to make, like, a new leveling guide... That's something I was considering, and what better way to do it than to glitch a, a free-to-play speed glitch character and just run there, right? But, hey, it's fixed, I'm, we're happy, we're good, and uh, there is still a consumable dupe, but um, it's not really a big one, and I'm pretty sure it's auto-bannable. Um, I have done it on this character, and it's not banned yet, I'll maybe let you guys know in a future video if... If it eats an auto ban or not, but so far it's been a day and I'm still able to log into this this character, this account. So maybe there's like a ban wave that it's been put into. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. Um, but again, this is a free to play character. It can't touch the market. It can't trade other players. It can't give items to other players. So uh, it was just some really low tier items that I duped. Not a big deal. It's uh, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to ruin the economy. Okay, I'm not going to mess up Orofina. But uh, let, let me talk about a few other things, too. First up is... I actually haven't played on Orofina in about 10 months. Because I've been on other servers, doing other things. And uh, one sad thing that I've noticed is in that 10 months of me being gone from this server, I don't recognize anybody here anymore. There, Every single... Like, I knew hundreds and hundreds of people that played on this server um, from back in the day. And I don't see a single familiar name online anymore. I have looked, I have, you know, just, you, you go to your friends list, or you go to the friends list here, you type in part parts of their name, like I'll type Swole Benji, right, and it'll pop up, uh, there I am, Swole Benji on YT, so let my, there's my 60 character on, on this server, obviously, right, but you would just start typing in names, and you would see if they're online or not, and just watching the chat, I'm not seeing a single name, and even in the op overworld map, all the, all the companies that own, own territories now, and um, Orofina was Orofina when I left it 10 months ago. I think it had more servers merged into it. I, I don't really know. I don't keep up with that stuff anymore. But all the old people that were there, all, all the original cast and crew and, and players are all gone. I don't know if they all transferred off or if they quit. I don't know what happened. Um, hey, real quick, since we're up here on the mountains, you think I can glitch through the... There, there was a, there's an old glitch, um, I might need the speed glitch to do it though, but there was a way to phase through, like, all of these, and it doesn't seem like I'm able to pull it off, but, um, well, maybe. If I keep trying, I might be able to glitch through this mountain here. I, I didn't test this bug, it's a minor bug, I don't really have a use for it other than outpost rush, but, um, it looks like it might have been fixed. And I don't even know if this is an original spot to activate it in, but you get the point, guys. Um... Glitches aside, you know, the game is in a decent shape right now. Most normal players aren't going to go for 45 minutes to activate a minor speed glitch uh, just so they can have an advantage while they gather. Oh, did we get it? Yeah, we got it. There we go. We're, we're now inside this part of the mountain. There we go, lads. We're in. Can I get out? Yeah, I can. Oh, no, maybe. <laughs> nope. I am now one with the mountain. Yes, lads, that's right. And, uh, you could, I could be like, I'm flying, guys. Look, I'm fly glitching. Haha, <laughs> lolixty. Uh, I tried the fly glitch, um, but because I don't own a house on this free-to-play character, I don't really know if I can do it as a non-house owner, because you do need to own a house to properly do it. And I found one house with the furniture set up that's probably doing it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reveal who, who it is, but I couldn't get it to work. So maybe it's fixed. I, I don't know. I'd have to play on my main character, but um, that's uh, yeah, that's that, that that's a whole other issue right now. But um, <laughs> anyway. So with that said, too, I want to talk about the new player leveling experience and my honest thoughts on it. Okay, I know I'm harsh on the game, but I want to let you guys know that I am real with you guys. I don't sugarcoat things. I don't have an agenda. There's a lot of people that will circle jerk this game. Everything they do is good. They will never talk about the bad. I will, I will praise games when they deserve it, okay? Albion Online hates my guts. You know, they won't let me in their partner program. Most of the players, you know, hate my guts too. I'm, I'm, a, I'm vilified in that game, right? I'm vilified in just about every game, and I kind of do that on purpose, right? Uh, but I will still praise them when they do something good. I will still give them praise if they get something right or if they do good in their patches or game development cycle because, you know, why not? But at the same time, I will not hold back if they do bad. Same with New World. So, the New World, <laughs> new player leveling experience, I found to be awful. 
And I know you're, this is the first time you're probably hearing this. Every single YouTuber is like, oh, yeah, the new player experience is so good, blah, 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 right? And uh, that's what the Ilm Turk shills will also parrot, you know? They're being paid to say that on Reddit and uh, YouTube comments, no joke. That's a real thing. But I, I just want to talk about it and why, okay? So basically, you're limited now to um, Monarch's Bluff and uh, Windsward, which if you get Monarch's Bluff, just reroll your character because Windsward is faster and better. Uh, at least in my testing. But uh, you also have several starter weapons scattered around the beach and your starting quests. My problem is, is that the world is cluttered to hell now, okay? When I first played this game, things were very open. Uh, it was a beautiful landscape, but now it's just littered with so much stuff. Okay, like just moving around the early parts of Windsward, there's so much... Like you go to a farm... There's so much crap in it now. There's, like, a bunch of random weird enemies, which is fine, I guess. I'm not complaining about, you know, mob, mob, uh... Oh, here, I'll just show you. Can I... I can't fast travel. Because I have to... I have to recall here to get out of this mountain. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, I can glitch out of it. Oh, no, oh, maybe. I can dive out of it, maybe? Maybe crawl out of it? Maybe not? No, now I can't even stand up. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try to get out of this uh, this death trap while I talk about it. Okay, so the ground is just cluttered with crap and mobs and just really, it's just ugly looking. It's just, there's too much stuff to look at. And you may be thinking, well, the more the merrier, right? The more stuff, the better. Not always. Uh, like, you're, like, just trees look out of place, bushes look out of place. The new quest markers, yes, I understand it helps you do quests with a bright blue glow. But it's so damn distracting from the aesthetics of the world. Um, I did see a lot of bots, and, and again, bots are only a U.S. server problem. They are not on Europe, they are not on the, the Asian servers, the South American servers. It is purely United States server problems, and I don't know why that is. I can always try to go deeper into the mountain, too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> uh, so bots are still a thing, and they're level 60, so they've been around a while, and I've even seen a few bots that I remember when I played Orofina 10 months ago. 10 months ago, the same bots are still running the same routes, farming the same materials, okay? I looked at the in-game economy shop, it's about the same as I left it 10 months ago, which is kind of weird. I think it would have went cheaper by now, but I guess people are still finding use for things. Uh, another gripe, too, is, um, I don't know if this is a free-to-play problem, but, uh, the Dungeon Finder, right? So, if I go to Armine and I go to Find Group, and I go to Find Group, it's, uh, this is, oh my god. So, this is the absolute very first time, um, oh, I don't have the gear score for it, of course. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen this screen. I have been checking for the past two days for someone to make a damn lobby, and finally one pops up when I decide to start recording. So I was going to, you know, at this point in the video, say, Ugh, I no one ever uses this. Everyone's in their own little cliques and their own little discords. Um, you know, there's no public groups. And I can't create a lobby because I'm a free-to-play account, by the way. I'll talk about free-to-play stuff in a bit and why I think it's a little harsh. Um, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Dungeon Finder, I'm not finding luck in it. I'm not finding success in it. But hey, it just worked then. So maybe there's some... It is Friday night. It is prime time. And there's only one group going, so, you know, I, I can still uh, complain a little bit, okay, guys? But with that also said, as far as questing goes for the new player experience, the quests are basically the same. Go kill, like, five mobs, go activate three sparkly things, go talk to three NPCs. Here's your quest reward, right? Now, in the old quest system, you had to do a long quest chain before you got a good piece of gear. You had to do like six or seven quests, and at the end you would get a blue sword or a blue axe. Now, you get a, a green weapon every time the quest completes. Oh, I'm out. I'm free. Okay, we're free, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now that we're free, we can fast travel elsewhere. Let's, uh, let's go back to Windsward so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. And... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. We're just hanging out, man. Just, just chill. Just take a chill pill, dude. We're all right. So, you have the optional quest and the main story quest is whatever, right? But if you want to be efficient, you would just do the main story quests that give you essentially heavy armor and hatchets because that's the fastest way to level in the entire game. It still is. Uh, the meta on that did not change. Uh, and it kind of invalidates all the other quests. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's go to the east now. And I just, I just want to show you all of the visual clutter 
that are in these zones now. Because these used to be clean, aesthetically nice-looking farms. And now there's just a ton of crap in them, okay? And I don't know if this specific farm is one that I'm going to complain good about. But I, I just wanted to show you. And we might run into some bots along the way. There's Meow Meowglyph. I don't know. That's probably a legit player. The, the name looks legit enough. It's not a spammy name. So we're entering the farm now, and um, not nothing too crazy. We've got these campsites that are kind of in the middle of everything, which is uh, a little unusual. Those weren't there in the old version of the game. And it looks a little out of place. It looks like they tacked it on. Uh, I can't really complain too much about, about this kind of uh, content. It's not too visually ugly. But there are some farms. There's just too much going on. you got these little spike barricades that don't make sense. They're just... It's like someone world painted these just randomly. I mean, it doesn't look like these are nice hand plant place. These bushes are out of place, out of color. Uh, you know, they a lot of these little weird beetle piles are kind of out of place. I guess I missed uh, that for 320 experience. Um, we got more mob types. Like these these piles are just kind of starting to get in here, and it, like the coloring just looks uglier and. And th this is this is a, a minor offender, by the way, this little farm. There, there are some areas that Questing had me go to that just look abysmal. They just look like throw up, like, like a pile of puke, okay? They are not visually pleasing. The new enemy mob types, they're interesting enough, but, um, you know, back in the day, these farms had these little uh, villagers with spears, but now they're fully armored soldiers? And, uh, you know, there's, you know, they're, they're doing what they can. I can just kind of run around them and, uh, you know, they're, they're doing their best. <laughs> Boink, <laughs> right? They're doing their best. And yes, it's only a level nine mob. I know. Um, but whatever. Okay. Uh, but another, uh, another gripe for the new player experience is that it takes away the sense of community. Okay. In the old game, w w when the game first launched, you would mostly do town board quests to advance. You would do the main story quest, and, you know, at some point you could do some side quests, but you had to eventually do the, the town board quests. And there was, like, a feeling of community. There was a sense of duty. Like, the town board quest would be like, go gather a thousand wood. So you'd see everyone come out here and just chop down the damn forest. And it was so cool because you were all working together to feed the damn town board. Right? And, you know, some players would buy the wood, whatever. Um, but now, town boards are terrible. You shouldn't do them. They're a waste of time. And, uh, no one does them. So, you don't see entire communities of people out here having a chat. I, I, oh, I can chat? Dude, my voice chat was locked yesterday as a free-to-play player. Uh, can I actually voice chat with people? This changes things. I was gonna complain about this in the, in the free-to-play segment of this video. But, um, the, like, the sense of community is just down, Okay. And, like, now there's way more NPCs in, like, weird spots. And, you know, that, that can be good or bad. Like, I kind of liked the emptiness of the world. But now there's, like, NPCs that's littered everywhere. And they're always there. It just seems weird and out of place, kind of. I'm going to go ahead and read that for some experience. Hello! Can anyone hear me? Hello! Hello! Anyone there? Hello! Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello! Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? I don't think anyone can hear me. I don't know. Let's, let's uh, go to our settings and see if it's working. Uh, accessibility. Social. Yeah, it's... That's not my microphone. That's my microphone. <laughs> okay. There we go. Maybe P I'm going to disable and re-enable it and see if that works. So disabled and enabled, and now people might be able to hear me. Uh, I don't, see, why did it select? It, like, that's not even a microphone. Hello, can anyone hear this? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hey, man, shut the fuck up, bro. Okay, so you can hear me. Cool. I'm a free-to-play player, by the way. Well, I'm, I shouldn't be allowed to talk. Just saying. Hey, listen, man, listen. No, no listening. No listening allowed. Yo, listen, man, listen. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, he's gonna play a soundboard. That's what he's doing! I hey, know yo, it. listen, man. Well, you keep saying listen! Ooh, music! Ooh! Okay, so I want to complain about that real quick. About the musical instruments in town. And this guy's gonna follow me and blast me with a soundboard. I know it! Because I would do that to me. And I, I doubt people recognize my voice. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. Let's get the hell out of here before he blasts me with something. He's, he's still following me. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I can duck into a house, maybe. Hide. Oh, is he following me? Nah, I think I think I gave him the slip. I gave him the old slipper rooney. All right, so we're just gonna run around the town for a bit. Anyway, so there's a lot of, uh, like, like, okay, the free-to-play experience, right, as a new player, you go into town, it's just filled with level 60 characters. It's kind of demoralizing. They're all just idle, sitting in town, doing trades, working the market, you know, sorting out their storage. But you have these people that play the instruments, which is kind of cool at first, but it ruins the aesthetic of the music of the town. Like, I really enjoy Everfall's music. I think Everfall has the best damn town music in the game, right? And this town music ain't bad either. Uh, but... You go into town, people are just spamming instruments, and you gotta stand around to get the buff or whatever. But then there's, like, all this heads-up display crap. Like, there's a tip window, a big loading bar will pop up telling you to tip. It's really intrusive. I don't like it. I think it's silly. I think it's stupid. But let's start talking about the free-to-play player experience, which is what I'm doing right now. This is a free-to-play account. It, it has not paid for New World. Um, so here's the thing, right? You're not allowed to talk in global chat. You can only talk in help chat. That's it. You can't you can't communicate. It also said I wasn't allowed to communicate via voice, but for some reason it is working right now. I don't think it's supposed to be working, but I'll take it. If I can communicate via voice, that's that's something. You know, that's a little bit of social socialness. Another thing, I can't trade with anybody. Oh, by the way, you can open your um your menu uh and uh, run at the same time now. So uh, you still turn around. I'm an old guy, by the way. Um, the old timers returned. But uh, new player experience. Your gold cap. Check this out. Your gold cap's at 2,000. Check it out. Coin is capped at 2,000. So basically, like I'm only level 20, right? And I've been I've been doing all the side quests and killing everything that I come across, and I'm at 1,816. You can't really spend this money. You can eventually faction flag up and yeah, spend some coin there. Uh, but you also have to spend the you know faction points as well. Uh, however, uh, that's not really efficient for spending coin. The thing is, I can't give this coin away to anybody. I am not allowed to gift this away. I can't trade it away. I can't buy anything off the market. I can't sell anything on the market. As a free-to-play player, you are completely bound to survival on your own. Everything you use and craft, you have to find it, craft it, craft it on your own, etc. It sucks. Uh, and you can't, you can't, if you, you can open a trade with people and they can give you stuff. But you cannot give them stuff. And I've never actually accepted a trade. I had some people, like, try to give me some free stuff. Because they saw I was a low-level player that, you know, had a real name and not a spam name. And, uh, you, you know, they, they were trying to give me some stuff to help me out as a new player. You know, as you would help a new player. But I didn't accept it. I didn't click accept. So I'm not even sure if you can accept it. Um, I noticed that leveling, gathering, all that stuff is way increased. However, the amount that you gather is lowered. Oh, here's... Look at this guy's name, man. This this is, I think, a bot. Let's let's investigate. He's moving very suspiciously. Yep, he's got the. He keeps stopping. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to emote at this guy because this guy is screaming bots, and I know I just spotted him, but his movement is very robotic. It's very unusual. Yep, he stops. He didn't gather it. His tool must be broken. He's stopping here. He's gathering this. Hi. Let's see, he's not, he's not responding. Hello? Are you there? Are you real? Hey, excuse me. Uh, Situit Foal, are you a real person, please? Hello? Hello? Can you answer me? Hello? Are you there? So, this, this is clearly bot behavior. Just, just the name, you can tell bots by the name alone, okay? And you may be thinking, well, this is just a very active player. I'm gonna click, okay, I'm gonna try to interrupt his gathering by running ahead, maybe. Um, I, I'm, I don't have a faction, so I can't, like, flag up or anything. He's not flagged anyway, so he's stopping there. He's clicking his E button, you know. Humans won't do that. They'll see that, it, that it, the resource is spent. So we got a bot, and, uh, you know, there's not, there's not as many. Yeah, he stopped. He's just, uh, he actually hopped over. I don't think he pushed the space bar, though. He's gonna stop at this one now. He's gonna attempt to gather that. And, uh, he, yeah, this dude's on rails, dude. This is not a real person. He's gonna attempt to gather this. Of course, it's gone. So, th th this is, okay, can I run ahead of this guy? And maybe, let's see. He's trying to gather it. He's trying to gather it. He's trying to gather it. <laughs> see? Humans don't act this way. So, you know, you do your part. He's a bot. So, I, I don't know. And then you can select, uh, what is it? Bot behavior. And this dude will never be banned. Oh, look, he stopped. Hello? Hello? Let's, uh, 
Duel him. Yes, we will duel. Oh, that's another thing, too. For whatever reason, as a free-to-play player, I can queue up for 3v3 arenas. Which I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, I can queue up. Um... <laughs> Now, a lot, of, a lot of the bot owners also I've noticed is um, sometimes they have owners and uh, they will come back to their keyboards every once in a while. Here, I need to speed up and catch this dude. Also, roll canceling to increase movement speed doesn't work anymore, sadly. So, uh, let's open a trade. Hey, bro, want to trade? Bro? Yep, he's trying to gather that now and he, he's, he's just dudes on rails. So yeah, anyway, new player experience. Um, basically, if you want to min-max the leveling process now, you do every main story quest, of course. You only do the side quests that give you heavy armor and hatchet, or whatever weapon you honestly prefer. And that's basically it. Um, the game is pretty much the same. It's just a gear treadmill. Uh, a lot of people are locked into their own little clicks. Hey, Mr. Boobob, uh, this Satuit Fole guy? He's a bot, dude. Hello? Are you there? Mr. B Mr. Boobob, are you there? Mr. Boobob... What do you name, by the way? Hello? Hello? You want to be on YouTube, bro? Hello? Uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Not a lot of socialness in the game, man. Just that one guy in town, right? The bot is getting away, and there's a bunch of these. There are just tons of bots, and, um, you know, we've only seen the one so far, but, you know, I'm just in the little, in, in the noob zones. A lot of them are in Everfall, they're in Monarch's Bluff, they're in, uh, First Light. They're, they're, a lot of them are programmed for the old starter zones. Here we go, he's gonna go ahead and grab that. Of course. Ooh, mob, let's go. Get the mob. See if the bot knows how to do combat or not. Probably won't be able to uh, aggro anything, but hey, maybe if he stops for this. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get the bot. No, he de aggroed. Okay, whatever. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, get him. Get him. I should probably block. Let's use a better blocking weapon. Even though this is not technically a blocking weapon. Hello? I'm gonna touch your butt so you can get aggro. And we're gonna try to hunt the bot down while I talk and finish the video. Uh, but, you know, like, see, there's just an NPC over here. He's just pointing and, like, scratching his book or something. I don't know. Yes, get him. Get the, get him. Oh, he's automatically fighting. Look at that. Oh, he's, he just spams all his abilities. Look at, look at that. What a, what a lad. I stole his blight root. I stole it. I stole his blight root. I stole it. I stole it. Me, 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 me. <laughs> uh... Drag saw. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but it's like sim speak. All right. New player experience. Not much more about it. Sure, you could level up slightly faster. It's not that much faster if you were already pro at speedrunning, but if you were if if you're casual at the game, yes it is faster. But the rest of the game is pretty much the same damn thing. Uh is it fun? Is it worth is it worth the 20 bucks? I wouldn't say so. And, and there's people like it's only 20 bucks, bro. I don't know about you, but I'm in the red. Almost every single month, I am losing money. Soon, I will be homeless. Uh, and by soon, I mean hopefully not by next April. Or this coming April, whatever. Oh, no, he got it. He got the Blight Root. <sighs> now, this guy is a console rank in his guild initially. So, if we if we go to initially here, maybe we can find it in the company. All companies, and then company name. You know, just kind of sort it. There's no search for some reason. We can find the eyes. We're still in the numbers. Let's skip all the numbers. There's so many freaking guilds. But, you know, he could just be a spam invite, but it could be an entire guild of bots. I don't think you can actually check. Yeah, this would take too long, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the freaking police here. I'm not I'm not the moderator. And, and we lost him. I don't need to follow him anymore. You can clearly see he's a bot. He's not a real person. And there's plenty of the people out, especially in the higher level zones too. You know, they're getting, you know, all the good ingredients, not the cheap stuff out here. Uh, so, botting still a problem. Uh, Amazon, he, that will never be banned. You know, feel free to log into Orofina and then check the guy. If, so, if someone is banned, they don't show up on the social anymore, okay? They do not show up here. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Banned accounts are gone forever. They're just gone. Danger Steve. <laughs> uh... His guild is bruh, far, far, <laughs> Uh, Jeff Coast. See, those are real players. Those are real players with real names. Anyway, um, the world is more cluttered. There's more resources, sure. Yeah, the, there's more quests to do. Um, but the player count is down because honestly, like, like the game is kind of, it's kind of boring, man. Like, even on the free-to-play experience, playing a brand new character, 
just going through the quests, I'm pretty damn bored because every single quest is go to zone, push my berserk, swing the hatchet and kill everything. Uh, occasionally you'll fight an enemy that's pretty beefy, but you know, you just cast berserk and self heal. You know, you can sip on some water, you know, whatever you do. And uh, yeah, skin animals, you know, harvest some resources. That's pretty much the game. For the next six months, um, there's no PvP updates planned and people are pissed. People are constantly pissed about wrongful bans. If you, if you like, say I could, say if I could talk in global chat right now, uh, I could just say a few things and completely make the entire server upset at me and they would mass report me every time they saw me online and I would be immediately automatically kicked offline each day until I'm permabanned, which is a thing that happens to many, many people. And then once you're permabanned, your tickets to Amazon do not reach real people. You will only reach robots, okay, even as a person in the partner program, yes, I am still partnered with Amazon to play this game. I am in their official content creator partner program, all right, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to really prove it other than, uh, uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you some proof, okay, and I don't care if they get mad if I show this, they, they didn't say I couldn't show it, but uh, here's, here's a Discord, okay, this Discord is the Amazon Games Creator Program. Here is AG, Sky the DM, Greg, Tom, Trevor. Uh, you can see uh, there's all these other content creators here, like Five Head. He's got a YouTube channel. There's there's tons of people here. This is also for Lost Ark and Blue Protocol. Okay, it's got all the stuff here. Um, and a anyone could get into this. You just need the invite link. You don't, it's whatever. But um, you got tons of Twitch streamers. They're all here. You got the, the, the main moderator of the Discord. Uh, for the New World subreddit, it, it, he's in here. Uh, Commander Hayes, I think is his name. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find him. He's not online right now, so whatever. But yeah, they're all there. I'm there too. And, uh, you know, I talk with people sometimes. But it's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not banned from it. Why would I be banned? I report on the bugs and glitches and speed glitches. But um, you don't see me arm team dupes. You don't see me... Like, I, I've only ever shown you how to do speed glitches after they're patched. Okay. Uh, and then I showed you old footage of me transporting some goods with a speed glitch, okay? That's about it. That's my only crime, and I'm just transporting goods. And I didn't show that until after it was patched, okay? Uh, anyway, uh, I know there's a lot of haters out here, but I do have like 190 New World videos, so I, I've actively played this game. I used to play this game 12 to 19 hours a freaking day. Um, I can't show... Wait, let me kill this mob. I, I, I'm not on my main Steam account, so I can't show you my hours played, but it's over a thousand for when I did play before, you know, soft quitting the game or quiet quitting, whatever you want to freaking call it. Um, and I've tried to collab with many, many other YouTubers, and they're just not interested, or they're on wrong servers, or they're playing other games, or they already have their click and their guild that they're part of, or, you know, they, they eat the, uh, the Reddit copy pastas and they think I'm some toxic asshole. It's whatever, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, new player experience, not that good. Bots still exist. I don't like the revamped questing. I don't like the revamped game changes that have been made. I understand why they're made, though, and why they're good for the game. But I, I don't personally like them. I like the old game. I actually like the alpha of this game. It was way more fun. It was basically medieval rust. It was so good. And so many people hate that, but I loved it. And I'm still kind of salty about it, because that's the game that I invested in. That's the game that I wanted to play, but they took it away. It's whatever, man. I understand. But as far as New World videos on this channel goes, I might make some every once in a while, you know? I might pop in, make like a new starter guide, because I should probably update that and just show you all the weapon spawns on the beach. You know, or at least all the good ones. Uh, the best optimal questing to do for 1 to 60. As soon as you hit 60, you get that Brimstone Sands. Uh, basically, it's an attunement. You get that unlocked. You go get the 625 or 615 legendary weapons. And then you're pretty much good to go to spam dungeons and do the gear treadmill. And then you can finally do Outpost Rush and get one-shotted by a musket user. I'm Soul Benji, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Player counts are down. I wish they were up, but they're not. I, I have to report on the truth and how I truly feel. I'm sorry if that upsets people or if you think I'm being a negative Nancy or whatever, but it's just how it is. It's honestly how it is, guys. And um, <laughs> free-to-play, they're, they're not treated very well. I think free-to-play should have more freedom, but that's just me. Uh, I'm going to go to town now and spam soundboards. Tico Taco, Tico Taco, skin in the board. Yeah, man, he's the Baconator. <laughs> You think someone on the Amazon Games Studio? Hello, are you real? Are you a real person? Hello, do a do a jig for me, Tico Taco. Are you a real man? Are you real? Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, this person. 
Better not be botting. See, they, they're actually moving like a real person, though, Wood. Right? Maybe if I, if I like, I don't know, challenge them to a duel, they might stop and stomp me real quick or something. See, he's kind of, you see, see how he, see what he did there? He, he curved around for the nuts on the ground. He's not moving like a robot and stopping constantly. Let's see. Let's uh, just do just do some stuff around, you know, just maybe do some real, random things. Hello, are you there? Are you real? Hello? Anyway, I'm, not, I'm done bot haunting. I'm done with this video. I'm soul binge. Videos every day on my channel. Probably not videos every day for New World, but hey, I, I cover a lot of games. I'm going to be covering more games because if I don't, I will literally die and not be able to pay rent. So I have to. I am stuck in this life. There's no escape unless I become big enough. So if you want to support me, click the th click the join button down below. I don't really have much for channel members currently um, as a member. Like, okay, so if you become a channel member, it's five bucks a month. Click the join button. You get access to private, more personal videos. There is a playlist in the members only section. Uh, or I'm sorry. There is a playlist in the pinned comment. So check it out if you want. Um, not much for New World though. Sorry. Uh, I just, I, I've been playing other games. Anyway, uh, on the right side of your screen is a video that you should absolutely click. Google thinks it's the best video in the world for you to watch. Uh, so go ahead and click that video, and uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video that I make. And uh, there's nothing under this waterfall, sadly. So take care, guys. See you later.